Greetings and wel welcome once again to my new calculus channel. So in my zealousness and earnestness to harm my enemies in the mainstream, I somehow got blinded to a proof which I've always thought is correct and somehow went off track because I was thinking of a geometric proof, uh, which I won't reveal the details of that because I'm still working on it. But this proof is, is correct. It's a very sound proof, and I simply got blinded to it. So you see, even a genius can make a mistake. And I mean, I believed in this proof for 62 years, just disbelieved in it for one second last night. Uh, maybe I am. <laughs> maybe I am losing it. Maybe not. But what this tells you about me is that I never closed the door to uh, establish knowledge. I have an open mind. Uh, I'm always willing to uh, re-examine and re-evaluate a concept, which is something that the fools of mainstream church academia do not do. And they cannot ever admit they're wrong, even when they're wrong most of the time. And they cannot admit it. They're hateful, spiteful, horrible human beings and uh i wouldn't even call them humans some of them are reptiles so anyway i've corrected uh, i've corrected uh, my mistake here on this discord so the thing about this proof i just want to point out one thing if one writes p over q that means p over q me uh, means that q measures p okay so let's just pull up a, a board here when one writes as I showed you earlier, when one writes A over B, it means the measure of the ratio AB, meaning that the theorem of Pythagoras holds and there is a number such, such that A over B uh, squared will equal to K squared, where K is K is this, this part here, okay? So that is true. But, but, here, here's the thing, here's the thing. Um, it's just that we can't find a ratio such that Q measures P and P and Q is irreducible, okay? So I've always, that's always been pretty plain to me. So, and, and the assumptions made in this proof are correct. It says either A is going to be uh, even or odd, or both of them are going to be odd. So what happens first is that A turns out to be even, and then we show through contradiction that B is even too, which, uh, which shows that uh, we have two, odd, two even numbers and we cannot find an irreducible fraction. Okay, so in other words, one that has uh, no common factors between the numerator and the denominator. So I'm John Gabriel, and this is New Calculus Channel. Become a subscriber, please, and follow me on Academia. I've removed the past video because it's wrong, and I've also removed this, uh, this article that I wrote, and I'll be in touch with you soon. Take care.